Hi and welcome to Mimbo Handmaids. I'm coming to you from Belgium and I'm very glad that you're here to see the Evelyn cardigans, um, which we can knit together because it's a very beginner friendly project um, for which the tutorials will follow in the rest of this uh, workshop. Now, first of all, I want to um, let you have a look, of course, at the cardigans. I'm wearing the boxy, um, which is a kind of a sporty version, uh, a cropped one. And then we have the elegant version, which is the longer one uh, with the belt. Now you can wear the belt like it is shown on uh, the puppet here. But of course, you can wear the belt in the back as well. It's uh, shown in the photos and it will enhance a more hourglass figure, which we all need at a certain age. <laughs> um, when it comes to the cardigan itself, it's knit in a way that you have no seams to make. Um, because we are starting in the back, we will start with the back panel. So I will show you how to cast on and how to knit stockinette stitch. And then we end um, at the armhole and we leave the stitches on the needle. Uh, this cardigan is knit on a um, needle for knitting in the round, with, so with a cable. Um, so you can leave the stitches on the cable if you uh, think, oh my god, I can't knit on this kind of needle, I need a straight one. It's possible as well, but you will have to put the stitches in waiting. After we have made this piece in the back, then we will pick up stitches here and create the front panel and of course the other front panel as well, also up to the arm bit. And then we will uh, start joining and it will be a lot of stitches, I know, <laughs> but this makes that when you come to the end of the cardigan over here and to the border, I show two borders in the pattern. Uh, when you cast off, you have your cardigan. You don't need to seam anything and it won't get tucked away <laughs> because you don't want to do the seaming, of course. Um, another thing that is quite important is uh, the traditional Bernadette uh, cardigans here in Belgium. They have this uh, curl. It's, it's the natural curl of stockinette stitch that makes the border. I wanted to recre recreate that in the sleeve hole, so in, in the arm hole. Um, and if you have two, a seam with, with two uh, panels together, the rolling won't be as much as it is right now. So that's something that is, makes it more elegant and more flowy. Um, the, it, it will, well, it will make a better fit. Now, um, for the yarn, we have used, well, I have used uh, Amel yarn, which is um, a very, very beautiful yarn. I won't, it won't be available everywhere, I know, but it's, 80% mohair and 20% polyester, and it's 25 grams is around 100 meters. Um, if you don't have access to the yarn, you can um, choose another yarn um, and just make sure if you want it to be as um, fluffy as this one, make sure that you choose the yarn, yarn with the mohair, of course. Uh, and make sure that you don't use a cotton yarn or anything because it will grow uh, a lot. It's a lot of fabric, it's knit quite loosely, so it might uh, grow too much if you use a heavier yarn. Um, but if you have um, doubts that the yarn will be uh, available, it will, it will be good for your cardigan. You can always contact me on 
via at nimblehead8.de and then I will try to help you out. Now, I have kits available in the webshop, which is nimblehandmade.be and we have, well, I have made some very nice um, combos. This vest has, uh, is, is, has a gradient, so um, we use two colors, um, which could be these ones. I also have a very uh, fruity <laughs> version because for the winter, um, of course, the, the bright colors are, uh, are uh, in fashion. So this one is a very nice combo. And um, of course, you can be a bit, you go for the, the more timeless option like this one. If you have any questions on these, please send me an email and um, I will come back to you as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you hit the subscribe button. Um, you can also su subscribe to my newsletter on my website nimblehandmade.be and then you will know um, about every new pattern that comes out and every new free freebie that comes out. So please do and I hope you enjoy making the evening cardigans. I'm going to show you how to cast on the stitches for your cardigan. So, and we are going to use the long tail cast on. For that, you will of course need a long tail, and I really mean a long tail. Um, for the cardigan, I suggest that you take two arm lengths uh, with your arms open wide, I mean, um, to start with, or even a bit more. You really are going to use the yarn. Uh, and then we take our uh, needles and we only need one for the cast on. So we have put the tail on our right side and the rest of our yarn coming from the yarn balls is on our left side. Um, I suggest pulling out a bit of yarn um, and pulling it out of uh, a bag or a box that is at your feet. So you use gravity to have um, the yarn come out evenly from your yarn balls, which uh, makes that your thread that you make out of the four strands will make will be more even uh, to knit with. So we have this needle. We are going to uh, have our yarn tension right by. Uh, curling it around our pinky finger and then putting it on the uh, index finger and over the thumb. Then we will insert our needle under, so in between your hand and under the, the yarn, you clip the uh, needle with your fingers and then you put over the yarn and you pull it through using your thumb as a help. And in this way, we have created the first loop. Now, the second loops will be a bit easier because you can um, put this finger under the stitch you have already made. So, which means that you only have to pull out your thumb. So we are going to guide the yarn from the yarn end we are going to put it over our needle, move our thumb over it, and then we have created the second stitch. We put the yarn on top of our needle, we place our fingers, and then put the yarn over the needle. In the uh, pattern is indicated sorry, how many stitches you need to cast on. And um, there are three sizes in the pattern. So the number of stitches that you find 
that is written first is for the smallest size. The second one is the second uh, number is for the uh, um, large, extra large. And then for the third size, you have the last number of chords. So I, for the, this example, I'm going to cast on 10 stitches. I now have um, five. So I'm going to show you a trick how to count more easily when I'm done with the 10 stitches. So, sorry, do that again. So the thumb here and the index finger over the stitches, yarn over, and then with the thumb guide the yarn through. Four more, more to go. And don't do it too loosely and not too uh, tight either. So the uh, size of your needle is the size that your stitches need to be. That means that the, the stitches need to fit around it. Not too tight, you need to be able to um, pull out and insert your needle easily, but not too lo loose either, so there, there shouldn't be any space between the stitches and your needle. Now to count it, I was going to show you the trick. You put it on your uh, cable between the needles and then you see that it's much more easy to count it. So we have the first two stitches here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I just need one more. And then we're done. So we can turn our work and pick up the second needle. Now, the first row is a knit row. This means that you will have your yarn in the back of your work and you will go under your needle and you will insert your needle like this. And you will put, put the yarn coming from the yarn balls, not your yarn end, of course. Um, you will put that around your uh, other needle and then you will pull it through. And that's your first stitch. Second stitch, insert the needle, pull it over. You put it over the other needle and then you pull it through. And every second stitch is an important stitch, because this stitch um, we will tighten the, the two loops that are on our needle now. This will ensure that you have a very nice edge to your work. So um, always make sure to pull tight in the second stitch, not in the first one. Then we are going to go further. I'm just going to show you. So, and the tension is held with your pinky finger. This will, this will ensure that the loops are not too big and not too tight either. And that you won't cramp your hand to uh, keep your yarn in, pr in place. So if you feel it's not working out uh, smoothly, don't pull, just go back and fix it before pulling through. And this is the last stitch. So this is your first knit row and you will see that you have all little V's next to one another. This is your right side row. So when you see the V's and your yarn is hanging out from this side, not the yarn end but your yarn, then you, need, you know 
that you need to uh, knit the row. On the other side, we have the furl bumps. So it, it's really like little bumps. Um, and we will have to purl this row. So we will take our needle in the other hand. And for this um, purl row, I'm going to show you the easiest way to purl uh, continental style. So, and that means that uh, we are going to pinch the yarn between our index finger and our thumb and we are not going to put it over our pinky finger. Um, if you get more advanced at this, you will know that there are different ways to hold your yarn when purling in uh, continental style knitting, but this one is the easiest. So I will show you this way. So for purling, we will insert the needle like this. We did it like this for knitting. But for purling, the yarn is in front of our work and we put the needle through like this. We hook the yarn around and then we pull it through. I'm going to show you once again. So insert the needle, turn around the yarn and when Pulling it through, it's easier if the uh, part of your needle sticks a bit to the other needle, so that the yarn cannot escape. We are at the second stitch, which means that we have to pull tight before we go further. And in this way, we are going to purl the entire row. If you need to um, take some extra yarn or untangle the yarn, you can always um, clip the other needle with your two fingers. And there you go. This is a pearl row. And here are the pearl bumps at the wrong side of your work. So you just keep repeating th those two rows um, to make your cardigan. Wish you a lot of success. What I have here is the first part of your back panel. So we have started here and then we have knit all the way through here, uh, which is, as you may see at this side, which will be the armhole. So this length will be the armhole. The number of rows you need to knit for this, and of course where you need to switch colors if you have chosen for the color option, uh, is also indicated in the pattern. So you knit the number of rows, and then you cut off the yarn and then we will start picking up um, stitches for the right shoulder. For this we need to turn our work, so we are going to turn it uh, counterclockwise and then we will see here the start of your initial work and we will start picking up stitches in this um, custom border. Um, the, all the stitches are left on the needle. You just take your needle, you take four strands of the yarn you have used for the first part of your panel or if you are using just one color you can, you will of course use always the same. Then you will, we will start um, picking up stitches in between the stitches we have 
cast on. This means that this one is a little less visible, but it's still a loop. And there you go for the second stitch, that's also a loop. St third stitch loop. Um, and we will go in between to pick up the stitches and the loops will behave themselves like this. So what we do is insert our needle, put the yarn over and pull it through. Again, we have one loop here, one loop here. We'll go in between, yarn over and pull through. In between, yarn over and pull through. Now, it's indicated in the pattern how many stitches you need to have on your needle and then you can turn your work and as you turn it you will see that we are on the wrong side now so this means that the first row of your um, front panels will always be um, a, a pearl row so I will now knit this um, uh, the right front panel and I will also knit the left front panel in the same way it's all indicated in the pattern and I will see you back then so what we will do is we'll make the um, the cardigan just till the armholes just up to the armholes and then we I will see you back so we have knit the back panel and the two front panels as you can see they are lying in front of me and here you see the uh, two front panels you see the neckline and the shoulder seams and of course the, the the back panel we will start uh, joining everything you and so we need to of course turn our work and then we will start knitting the first panel so we Take all the stitches, we move them on the needle, and you can see at my left hand that there is a big gap, which we, of course, will be closing now by just knitting the end stitches and then moving over to the back panel. So you just move your stitches and then start knitting across all stitches of the back panel. Of course, the first stitches will be quite loose. And that is why you will pull it, of course, again at the second stitch. So, so pull it quite tightly. So that your uh, armholes are neat and tidy and then knit along the next stitches and of course you will do the same thing at the other armpit to close that one um, of course Make sure that you don't knit over your front panel. You have to go back by purling and then come back knitting and purling and just, it's a lot of stitches I know, but you will see um, it all come together. We are at the end of uh, the front and back panels that we have knit together 
and we are going to create a border at the end of these front panels. Now I will show you two techniques uh, for the um, small, the, the shorter vest. I have chosen uh, a ribbing, which I will show you in a minute. But for the longer um, cardigan, I have chosen just to reverse the stitches, the stockinette stitches. So um, it's all indicated in the, pa pa in the pattern how you do it. Um, you just make a flat border by reversing the stockinette stitch and then we finish off. And I will show you how to do that in a minute. This is the simplest border. And of course, you can use it for the shorter vest as well. For the shorter cardigan, I have chosen a ribbing because it naturally pulls together um, your knits a bit more closely, um, which gives you a bomber effect on the knitted garment. Um, if you want this effect to be even more um, visible, then you can use a smaller size needle. I'm still using my 12 millimeter needle. Uh, you can of course go to a 10 millimeter or even an 8 millimeter and then it will be even tighter. Um, and I will show you how to cast it off in a minute, of course. Um, ribbing or 1-1 one, one ribbing means that you knit one stitch, then you purl one, you knit one, you purl one, you knit one, you purl one. In the next row, you are going to see how the stitches present themselves. So, as you can see, in this row, it presents itself as the previous row. So, we have a V here, which means that we will have to knit this stitch. We have a little bobble here, which means that we have to purl that stitch. The V is knitting, the bobble is purling. So we are just going to go into the stitch and knit it. And then for the purl one, you don't need to switch your hand. You can, you, you can use your two fingers to just push the yarn over for this one stitch. So you go in to purl, and then you push the yarn over and you push it through the stitch. You go in for the knit stitch because we have a V and then we have a bubble which is a purl stitch and you, pull, you push it over and then through the stitch. Insert the stitch in the V and knit it and then this one we purl. I will see you back to uh, cast off all stitches. So now we are ready to cast off the stitches. As you can see, we have a knit row, uh, a knit piece, a purl piece, knit pearl, knit, and so on. So we are going to cast off the stitches the way they present themselves. And the first stitch and the last one are a bit... Um, there is a small trick to keep that uh, neat and tidy, which is to just take off the stitch and not knit it. So you take off the stitch and then you will see this um, bubble, which means you have to purl. You just purl it and then you, you pull it quite tight. Then you take this stitch which was taken off the needle and you pull it over the other stitch. As you can see, this one is a knit stitch, so we are going to knit it and then we will pull it tight and pull this one over the next one. You want to pull it quite tight. Um, you can even uh, take a, a needle that is one size smaller or even two sizes smaller. I'm still using the 12 millimeters because 
it will it may may be um quite a straight vest but you want the uh, cast off stitches to be quite tight um, otherwise it will bobble a bit um, this one is a purl stitch so we are going to purl it we pull it tight and then we take one stitch over the other this one is a knit stitch we knit it pull it tight and then we pull this stitch over the other and we are going to pretend that this is last stitch we are not going to purl it we are just taking it off the needle and we will be pulling this one over and then you can um, cut your yarn about 10 to 20 10 to 15 centimeters long and then you have finished then it's just tucking in the ends and you can wear your first handmade garment for weaving in the ends we will use a darning needle that is thick enough to hold all your strands together just apply it in two and then put it through the needle and the thing is that you don't want um, the ends to be seen at the right side of your cardigan this means that for example in we don't have an edge a real edge to uh, this front side of the cardigan and you will see it has a tendency to curl which means that in this fold, this which goes automatically, um, you can hide a lot of uh, ends. So for this one, we can just go into the this end of the, uh, the edge, and then you can pull it through, and then. It's tucked away nicely. We can do it the same way for the color change. We have these two ends and we can tuck them away um, in the in the edge or we can choose to weave them in. And I'm gonna show you how to weave them in but you can do it any way you like. Um, I have, I will take these two together and just put them all through my needle. And then I will go in search for a bubble that is between two bubbles so that I can easily insert my needle. Don't pull it too tight. Then I will go the other way around. So between these two bubbles, I will pick up this one. And then again, this one, which is just between these two bubbles. And the next one. And, well, this end, I haven't taken a long end for this one. Normally you have to have about 10 to 15 centimeters, but it will be all right. So we are just going to have one more bubble and then we are going to cut the yarn. Before you cut the yarn, just pull it so that it's all tucked away. You can't even tell where the end is tucked in and then we will just cut the yarn. Now for cutting the yarn, don't cut it too tightly because it might come and peep out <laughs> at the right side. So this will yeah, all disappear. And that way you can tuck in all the other ends. Now for the sleeves, um, you might see 
here I have already tucked in the end um, and I had one stitch that was a bit loose so I pulled it tight with the uh, yarn end and then I um, tucked it away and you can barely see where it went so if you have a problem at the other sleeve you can do the same with a, a loose end of yarn and then you tuck it both ways so you would um, you would uh, go around the stitches one time with your needles and then you will tuck in one end this way and the other end that way and in that way you have a neat edge of your sleeve so tucking in the ends is always on the uh, wrong side of your uh, knitting and if you do it the way I just showed you it will not show even at the wrong side so now it's up so it's 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 all finished now we will make the uh, loops for the cardigan for the belt of the cardigan the long one um, and therefore we are going to use our uh, hook and um, the yarn, of course, the four strands held together, and we are going to make a loop first. Um, so I am going to put the yarn around my fingers, I'm going to cross over, and then I will pull through the yarn on, from the back side. And then you have made a knob that still is flexible. And you can pull this, put this loop on your hook. Now we are going to manage our tension with our pinky finger for crochet, and we are going to put the um, the hook under the yarn and pull it through. Put it under the yarn and pull it through. And keep doing this for five or six stitches and at the end you will just pull the yarn through in a long tail and then you will cut it like this and this will be where what you will um, attached to the body of the work. Um, where you need to attach it will be uh, indicated in the pattern, of course. Um, this will make sure that your belt stays attached to your cardigan. So for the belt in the um, long cardigan, we are using only the tips of our needles. So we are just going to detach the first the first needle I already detached and I'm gonna detach the second needle from the cable and for that I will insert my um, tightening needle into the hole on the cable and then we will just loosen it up and use the detached needles. Um, of course I will take my four strands of yarn and hopefully my needles will stay in place. Um, and then we are going to cast on three stitches. We are also using the long, the long tail cast on um, but of course we won't need much yarn for this cast on for just three stitches so the first one will be the way you did the other ones too one two and three And we are going to knit the first row, 
So we do our tension with our pinky finger and then we will start knitting just the way we are used to knit for these three stitches. Of course, make sure that you're not knitting with this, the short tail. And we have knit the first three stitches. Now, normally we would turn around our needle and start um, purling on the other side. But th for this, we are going to move the stitches to the end of the needle. So for this we will be, uh, you can of course do it on the cable, but it takes a lot of work to um, move the stitches over the cable entirely every time you uh, knit these three stitches. So that's why we are using just the needles. Um, I will use my tension again. And of course you see that the um, yarn end is at the wrong side of our work, but this is intended to be because it will tighten up the stitches and make it round like an eye cord. So we are going to knit and the tail will be coming from this side. It will be a little awkward to knit with this, but it's quite fine. And then the third stitch. And then we will move these stitches to the end of the needle and start all over again. So we will knit the three stitches and of course it will tighten up in the back of your work. It's a bit awkward knitting like this because you miss the cable, so I suggest doing it at a table or with your hands on a cushion or something, so that you have a little bit to hold. Now, um, you will notice that it is uh, not as smooth as you would like, probably, so I suggest that you pull it regularly and then you will see that it tight tightens out and at the back of your work you will see that it closes up. So it will go better the more you knit. Um, and of course it's indicated in the pattern how long this all should be. I really appreciate that you stayed with me for this entire tutorial and I hope it was helpful to you and that your project will be a big success. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button and share the joy. Bye. See you the next time.